าโตมานี้นะครับเราเพิ่มเลยนะครับอีกสามจุดเปอร์เซ็นจากมาหาไต้โตนะครับมาหาไต้โตแล้วนะครับห้าจุดเปอร์เซ็นต์แล้วเพิ่มอีกสามจุดเปอร์เซ็นต์แล้วก็ต้องมีนะครับเหลือสองแถมอีกอันนี้ห้าเจ็ดนะครับก็ขายที่ห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าสิบห้าส
But there's just so much happening here. The hardest time we had was trying to figure out exactly where we're gonna show you amongst all this. Oh man, look at this. Maybe we should walk into this Victory Mall and walk over. Oh, the Victory Mall, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So what can you tell us about Victory Mall? It looks like it's basically a mall for women's clothing. To be honest with you, I haven't actually come here that much. Probably because it is a mall for women's clothing. I'm probably in the central one. Uh, so, yeah. remember, it is all women's clothing. This feels a lot like Union Mall up in La Prau. Yeah, with, with the college girls. It, it feels a little bit more for the older folks, though. Oh. Wow. Alright. Basically, you come to the end here. Uh huh. And then you turn right, walk up 200 yards, and then you come to another sort of little market square, which is, as you can see there, the tent there. Yeah, well, we're gonna try to head over to the market area. So behind here is where all the mini vans are. I've actually heard that they tried to cut back on a lot of the minivans because it's creating too much traffic. Have you noticed any of that? But this this is pretty much where you would catch a minivan up to Nontaburi or whatever else. I heard they've moved a lot of these vans though to like the further provinces to uh, Pinklau from one of my other students who lives around that area. But this is pretty much a center of transport, so I imagine it's super convenient for you to get around, Justin. Yeah? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. There's uh, supposed to be a lot of buses that intersect here. Did you ever start trying to learn the Thai bus system? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I, I, Do you know what? I've, I've actually been looking today. Uh, I was looking at the timetable. Uh -huh. uh, no, nah, I just couldn't work it out. Yeah, it out. yeah, it's it's quite difficult. It's crazy. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find a very popular bar here. It's called Saxophone. It's a very very popular jazz bar. It's the favorite of many. It's supposed to be around here, but we just circled around. That's where we just came from. Yeah, you have to keep walking this way and cut a right. Ooh, very local soy. Okay, let's see. I'm looking up on Google Maps where it is. Jeez. Would you consider living anywhere else, Justin, or you're just too in love with this place. I'm in love with this place. Um, <laughs> before, obviously, I lived in Ari. Uh huh. Uh, now we've just moved, just just ran up the side down there of uh, a victory monument. Uh huh. And I could spend all day here, like I have done today, actually. Wow. So th is this is like so the local. Yeah, definitely residential areas. <sighs> we walked through Rama Nine the other day. It has somewhat of a similar feel. It's just, I don't know. Mm. Ooh, look at this cat. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's head back, let's head back. I think this is just gonna endlessly go. Saxophone is over here. I mean, I know where it is, but I still can't find it. I, it everything looks different at night too, right? Because when I came here, it, it's like the two times I did, it was during the evening. Oh, def def definitely different at night. You go down the main road. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh Pay, pay, a, pay a Thai road, I think it's called. Yeah. The main road. Uh -huh. The main road, sorry. If you go down there at night time, it's, it's so it's all lit up. The smell, the street foods. Oh, it's <laughs> fantastic. Um, and, and of course, it's so cheap compared to the centre of Bangkok. You know? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, this is technically in the centre. It's the centre, but it's, it's not the touristy centre such as... Kaosan, Yarrat, or anywhere on Sukhumvit. 
um, and it's not as gentrified as even where I live, like Rama 9 or anywhere like Saturn or the Riverside area. It's, it, it seems like it's almost another world <laughs> compared to the rest of Bangkok, right? I mean, have you spotted a Farang yet? Uh, I've seen two, <laughs> uh, which I, I'm not surprised because they have to come here anyways for the fact that this is sort of a center of transport if you're going to make transfers. Um, oh, I think it's here. Saxophone. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. It's seeming familiar now. I'm gonna walk through here just to show our viewers what's happening. There's a little central area over here at night. It's quite happening with bars and oh they, they must be lining up for the minibuses. Well you did get some or, oh, oh no no they're lining up for taxis. Is it? Okay there's a separate line for that drink over there. It's only 19 baht. Oh my gosh, it is definitely much more affordable over here. Sometimes in the evenings here, uh -huh. they have uh, entertainment. Oh, like, like street performers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember seeing that the last time I came here too. This is saxophone. This must be saxophone. Guys, if you want to take your girl out to a nice evening with some live music, nice jazzy atmosphere this is this is the spot to be Jack lives here I like that I'm a Jack and Coke kind of guy too I wonder if I could sort of show you guys a little bit before I got kicked out how it looks but oh yeah there you go pretty nice atmosphere oh look at this they got all vinyls. Yep. You got street food. So, when they talk about Victory Monument, the monument they're referring to is what you see right there. So, everything sort of centers around this area. It's a big roundabout connecting. Two big roads. It's definitely the place to be. How are we gonna cross this place? Is there a transfer? <laughs> By the way, over there is BTS Victory Monument. I am at a loss of how to. Yeah, that's that's the only choice. <laughs> This uh, street walk, guys, be prepared to <laughs> experience a very long street walk. I just shot another one the other day. Rama 9. Ended up being more than two hours long. So. Oh. So when you usually go to your little soy area of uh, Victory Monument where you live, which is further down, how do you usually get here? I'm assuming you get off this BTS Victory Monument quite a bit? From my apartment, I can get oh. a uh, motorbike taxi 40 back. Up to here? Up to 20 steps here. Uh-huh. Um, I can walk it in about 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Which, to be honest, most of the time I do. Yeah, I mean, it's a very pleasant walk, Definitely, right? Yeah. I mean, this is what I want to ask too. So this area is, is quite hectic. And maybe, you know, I, I certainly recommend it for anybody who's coming here on a regular basis uh, and just traveling and wants to experience it. Just maybe like yourselves, like once every three months, right, Justin? Yeah, once every three months. You want to experience a warm climate, definitely something different from the cold, frigid, sort of, I don't know, even the cold attitudes of the people, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, people are just, like, very lively out there, right? Because it's cold, they just want to get home. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, oh, you can put that in your pocket, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to hold it. 
But it's so loud here, by the way, guys. Oh, look at these people just eating. <laughs> uh, but do you see yourself living out here if you were like living out here like me every day? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You wouldn't get sick of this place still, right? I'd never get sick of it. Every uh -huh. time I come to Bangkok, uh -huh. uh, before I had a place here, uh -huh. I always spent many times, many days here, uh -huh. walking around, you know, just being in with the locals. Uh -huh. It's my favourite place in Bangkok. And so persuaded Molly, my partner, to, to get a place here. Yep. Uh, and like, she agrees. Uh, By the way, could you... Uh, Refresh for the memory for those of you who haven't seen our other vlog together. How much are you paying for an apartment out here in Victory Monument? We pay six thousand five hundred baht a month. Uh -huh. That includes free television, uh -huh. um, free Wi-Fi, uh -huh. and uh, you get the facilities: washing machine, tub dryer. Um, yeah, it's six hundred and fifty baht a month. Wow. Um, six, not six hundred fifty, six thousand. Six thousand five hundred. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it is possible, but it's not like your typical condo where you have like your swimming pools and such, right? No, no, no. It's no swimming pool, but you get twenty-four hour security. Right. Yep. Um, how to get in and out? Uh huh. Uh, like warm showers. Warm shower. Which is unusual for <laughs> all of the apartments in Thailand. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I mean, you could always install one of those warm shower machines. They only cost about $100, $200 to buy. Um, yeah, yeah, I suppose it's that possible, is it? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, here, yeah, my new place. Rip it out every year, the, <laughs> the, the lease is over. <laughs> Just switch it to the next place. Uh, by the way guys, I'm speaking from experience, but there's a ton of these warm shower machines out here. It's not like, I don't know if England does it too, but in America we use like oh, is it 50 gallon water heaters and such. Uh, like yeah, a yeah. big thing that just heats the water and makes warm water everywhere in, in the house. But here you just have, yeah, like an electronic individual machine just for the shower. Yeah. And, you, you know, in America there are certain brands that I trusted. I didn't know what to get out here, so I ended up getting... Hitachi, which was super expensive, but I thought, hey, because it's expensive, it's gonna be good. But I should have taken the Thai person's advice. If you're ever in the market for it, you should. You get this brand called Stiebel. I think it's a German brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I really appreciate a super hot shower, like almost to a point where it's burning me. Oh, really? that, that like I and I create a little mini sauna inside. So if you're any, anything like me, that's something you should consider. By the way, here. Before we got this place. Check that out. Check out this view. You could just walk around here for maybe 10, 20 minutes every day. This, this is an awesome area to just be walking. And up here, you see the, the BTS line. Right below, you got the people. Oh man, I could, I could see why you really like this place. So, last time you weren't here. <laughs> Justin, you're going on the wrong one. <laughs> There is a method to this madness. So last time Justin was saying, uh, you're near Prompong, but definitely Sukhumvit area. Yes, yep. It was an area that was, it's definitely much more popular with the tourists, and many people will tell you to stay there. But I've never seen you this happy, bro. <laughs> He's back in his element right now. Constant smile on my face, man. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. So many buses as expected. I, I mean, I've driven through here, but you don't really look around. You're keeping your eyes focused on the road. <laughs> if you're driving in Bangkok, you do not want to take your eyes off the road for a second. But now I'm really appreciating, wow, just how much activity is going here. People from all walks of life, your students, your younger office workers, your older office workers, your government walker workers. Man, where did you meet your girlfriend, by the way? Were you just walking through here and going like... Um, I, actually, I actually met Nan on a dating site. Oh, that's right. Four, four years ago. We're talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> four years ago. <laughs> oh. 
Have you ever eaten at these joints before? Oh, many a times. Many a times. Which one is your favorite? Normally over the, uh, the center of that. Yeah. Uh, we, we've all been eat over there. And you center to, one, yeah. Yeah, because they got entertainment in that area. Ah. Uh, don't normally come to this, this part of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the street food here looks very legit, though. It looks like some kind of chicken rice over there. Oh, the prices. This is this is even better than Rama Nine prices, <laughs> slightly. Although Rama Nine in the local areas, it's quite competitive. Oh, what is this? Some kind of deep fried fish balls and such. Oh my gosh. It seems like they only have uh, sexy sizes. <laughs> uh, I should tell you some about the, the typical person that walking around here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sometimes you look at these mannequins that they d display all these clothes on and it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're supermodels, you know? <laughs> oh, they're so thin <laughs> and fit. The problem is, though, most, most of the Thai, Thai women are like sniffing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's much of a problem, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking to an even more local area. Just for reference, guys, if you head over this way, it's getting into the Dusit area, the more government buildings area where we actually did a vlog together, remember? And got rained out yeah. <laughs> for the closing of Dusit Zoo. That's oh, yep. yeah, and then a little bit to this way is Kaosan Road. Th this is definitely a very central area. To the right, you're gonna hit uh, Siam area, Siam Paragon. And then if you fork left from there, then that's when you get to Sukhumvit. Or if you go straight from there, you end up at Yawarat. And to the left is where Ari is. It's actually very close. You can probably even walk to Ari from this area. Yeah, you can. Like, yeah. It's not far at all. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm really digging this place. I, I want to live here. <laughs> it's so local. And it's local, but still, I, I, I'm not one of those people that wants to live in a local local area as in like the boonies out in the nowhere oh you want to walk around i, I want to walk through this area first i think we there's a overpass we can catch over to yeah, the right yeah. yeah oh look at this street food i i i like this activity i like the hustle and bustle i can't just be in a local area for the sake of it being local and be eating from the same noodle vendor every day I need a bit of choice and variety oh let's cross through here see what's happening there's there's even there's shops to the right and left guys I'm sorry if this is not as cinematic but I, I promise you oh <gasps> this is a very famous place heap I don't know if they relocated here or this is just their other branch but further down this was the this was the drinking joint of choice that our co-workers would have our gatherings at. It was further down there by Pechaburi area. But this is a very chill bar. You know what? I'm gonna walk up to it and sort of show you guys how it's like. They always usually have live music playing. The ambiance and the vibe is really good here. Um, less of a... Less of a... Ooh, so nice. Yeah, very local vibe. Highly recommend that you check it out if you're ever in Thailand. And you just want that lively ambiance. People waiting for more minivans over here. I really wish I could figure out this system. It would've saved, it would've saved me so much money. But unfortunately, these minivans, they're all in Thai, guys. <laughs> yeah. I've had I've had some guys tell me though that their girlfriends have told them which vans to take to get to like a place that they would always go for example and they would just sort of remember the characters almost like as a drawing and then just always take that one so that's an option for you 
Oh, more like, areas. Like your sweet cakes, biscuits. Oh. This place here. Oh. It's absolute spawn. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's see what Justin's talking about. It doesn't look like a franchise, but maybe it is. Pon Marie. I, I haven't heard of this franchise so far. Oh my gosh. Me and Maya are definitely going to buy some from here when we circle back for the street walk. Wow, look at all these people. Everybody. So many different kinds of people. It's the best place to come for people watching. Do you, do you ever just sit somewhere and just look at the people walking by here? All the time, all the time. <laughs> Normally, uh -huh. I'll go on top of the bridge, uh -huh. just stand there in the middle, uh -huh. just chill out for 10 15 minutes, just watching everyone. I can see myself doing that too. It's... You have got a park further on down, but yeah. it doesn't really get that busy. Oh, look at these little alleyways. Of... Interesting. You can definitely tell it's a local spot. I mean, what tourist is looking to buy stuff like, well, maybe they will buy something like that, but... Yep. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a single Farad the whole time I was walking through. I told you, it's great, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 it's my fault. <laughs> I think I need to go to the right. They're walking on the right hand this side. It's weird. I can never figure this out in Thailand. Like, am I always supposed to walk on the left? And drive on the left but sometimes you're having to walk on the right you just don't really question it you just go with the flow it's best not to question it LG Korean company shooting commercials with Western actors and actresses amongst Thai people what a juxtaposition Oh, this view is breathtaking. Can you imagine this at night time? All this, this bit up. Honestly. Jeez. I don't think I've ever seen this view. No. Because, guys, saxophone where I usually come here for, <laughs> for the dates and such, it was over there. So it never really... I'm always running late and stuff. It is traffic. So I never came here. Yeah. It is traffic, it's like this. From, from 7 o'clock in the morning up until what? 9, 10 o'clock at night? Shit, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Look at this roundabout. There's definitely not going to be any high speed accidents. You did say that you saw an accident today though on our chat group. Literally just here. Uh-huh. Uh, pickup truck has gone into a motorway. A pickup truck? Yeah. It's always the pickup trucks you gotta watch out for. I'm serious. I keep saying this, guys. If you're driving out here, it's relatively safe. But you definitely gotta watch out for the pickup trucks. Especially the Helix. <laughs> All right. Darn, I love it. I love it. I love it. So for reference, if you just keep walking down that way, it's gonna be the RE neighborhood. Oh, what is this? <gasps> this looks so cool. Oh God. How do you recommend that place? That place, or this place? This place here in the corner. In the corner over there. Yeah. Okay, so over there, guys. You know what, let's walk through it. Let's walk through it anyway, it's connected. I don't, how many minutes am I going on here? Is my battery about to die? No, it's at 49%. We're still good. Let's go, let's go. Vlog or die, Justin. Extreme vlogging. It's a sport. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, while I'm walking through this uneventful scenic area, I'm gonna give a shout out to Justin. Check his channel out. Just living that Thai life. Subscribe, check it out if you want to see more of uh, Victory Monument. He told me he just did two vlogs about Victory Monument today alone. <laughs> I've, I've uploaded three uh -huh. um, to 
release release a new video every Thursday. Uh -huh. Start from this Thursday. Uh huh. Um, hopefully uh, entertain everybody. Yeah. And you'll definitely get a different perspective of Thailand because Justin gets up early, like 7 a.m. <laughs> I told him I got up at 6 a.m. I, I went to sleep at 6 a.m. I got up at 3 p.m. So, oh wait. I don't think you can get to You can't even walk through here. But let me just, although Justin recommended the other joint, I, I, no, you can't walk through here. But this is, I don't know, I like this view, although the water isn't <laughs> that pleasant, you know, just think of it as an emerald green pool. It doesn't really smell or anything, so the ambiance overall is pretty spot on. Oh, look at that. Kids playing video games, mama selling food. Jeez, oh. I think I want to rent out my place. And I'll rent a place out here for half the price. <laughs> wow, oh, okay, I can see why you're highly recommending this place. Look at all, you can tell because it's only locals. It is packed, it is packed. Oh, it smells so good. It's some kind of curry. Is this, oh, it's the, I think it's that Chiang Mai noodle. Now I forgot what it was called. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna do a street walk of it afterwards. So I'll have Mayu choose. She is the resident food expert here. Ooh, are they prepping the foods? Yeah, they must be prepping the foods. So you'll see that quite a bit. It's like these students in their university outfits and such. Seems like they're working at their mom and pop stores. Just working after school, helping out their parents. Something about that. I, I, I really sort of like that very family friendly atmosphere. Kids helping out their parents. Oh, this this sort of seems like it's we're coming back to the same area, but it ain't. It's <laughs> it's uh, another area where people are waiting for minibuses. This this must be a popular destination. My god. These minibuses, by the way, guys, are super cheap. My understanding is they're like 10, 20 baht. But I mean, obviously, if it's going all the way to a Utah or something like that, it's gonna be a lot more. <laughs> but it's the local transportation of choice for your locals. Oh, this sunset is so amazing. The colors. It looks beautiful. Is there a better time to come here than sunset? How about early in the morning when the sun is rising? Oh, pretty mate. Always come out early. Always come out early. Definitely not a sight that I've really witnessed. It's different for me because obviously I'm not here 24 7. Uh huh. So I like to get up early and you know, just explore. Uh huh. So, uh, describe a typical day between you and your girlfriend. So she gets off work. Where does she work? Up, up she north? She works in Ari. In Ari, okay, yeah. So she'll get up, she'll leave at 7. Uh huh. So she'll wake up at half past 5. Uh huh. Um, when she leaves at 7, I usually leave my place anytime from 7 and a half, 7, 8 o'clock. Uh huh. Um, I usually walk around up to Mitchell Monument. Uh -huh. Go to McDonald's, have a coffee. Uh -huh. And then I get usually oh, oh, oh. get on a BTS. Any band coming? Uh huh. I travel to each town every day. You know, see something new every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then usually I get back home about half past four when the partner gets back home. Uh. -huh. And then we usually we take a stroll up this part here. Uh huh. And have something to eat. Yeah, because she she has to. She's probably taking the BTS up to that BTS over there. She gets one of these buses. Oh, she gets a bus. She get a bus. Yeah, they're they're much cheaper. True. Yeah. So, so then this is the inner intersection before you turn left to your place. All right. So uh, just for reference, guys, the Center One Mall is where we started. Right up there, 
and we circled around here and we pretty much went around Victory Monument and here's some more street vendors there are more street vendors on the left hand side but I had the benefit of seeing the street vendors on the right hand side and I thought they were quite interesting so we're gonna cross this bridge and whoa water dropping oh. <laughs> uh, hazard <laughs> we're gonna show you that area and walk Justin back to his home where he's gonna meet his missus <laughs> today's a different day though um, because she's getting her hair done over up at Ari that takes she's gonna be two one two hours <laughs> That's like, yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there and watch her get her hair colored <laughs> Justin's like uh, my girlfriend wanted me to come and <laughs> Watch her get her haircut for two hours. I'm like, two hours? Uh, for reference, guys, uh, I'll be walking the street walk with Mayu. She comes here too on either a Wednesday or a Thursday, whichever day I decide to sleep in. And she gets her haircut here too. This place, apparently, it's much cheaper. But Mayu just gets a cut because she doesn't want to deal with those long wait times managing her long, long hair. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't take her that long. So is Mayu, is Mayu actually walked all the way around the area? Mayu shopped around here. Like she knows this area as as a girl, like what a girl would be interested in. She gets her pantyhoses. Is that what they're called? Or the stockings? I don't know the technical differences. But yeah, whatever, whatever you know, those, those long see-through sexy looking socks are <laughs> that you have to wear for uh, work yeah so she gets that here she gets uh, work shoes and, and things of things of disposable nature out here you're not gonna get the best quality that's for sure but it's uh, where you can get a lot of practical items for your daily life Although I wouldn't say it's, it's a place for tourists. It's not very souvenir-ish. You're gonna find better quality clothes on clearance back home. Yeah. But, as many of you may already know, brand name clothes out here are just way overpriced. So, for the locals, this is where they shop. They're pretty cute though. As I walk by these clothing shops, because they're like 90% women's, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, I just imagine a really, really cute Thai girl wearing it. <laughs> the temptations, no matter where you look, you know, I'm not even looking at a girl. <laughs> I'm like, oh look, like, like this, I can, I can picture a really cute Thai girl wearing that. <laughs> Why do you think I live here, really? <laughs> Why do you think you live here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, me and Justin, we stay faithful to our uh, to our significant others. Of course we do, absolutely. Through uh, looking at models of mannequins. <laughs> we, we're committing adultery with mannequins right now. <laughs> Lusting after mannequins. <laughs> Oh man, this smells really good. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no I haven't. They put a hot dog in it. Only 10 baht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's grab one. Let's grab one real uh, You know what? Let, let's go though because battery's gonna die. I want to show my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely grab one with Mayu. Yeah, yeah I think over here is... These... These must be like recycled clothing. There isn't like any single brand. They actually look like high quality. Yep, Target. This definitely ain't. So they recycle them. That's good. I really like recycled clothing. Patch it up. Have that vintage look without paying Abercrombie the premium to have them rip it up for you. Ooh, what is this? All components reach compliant. They're perfume. Is it perfume or is it the the fragrance for your home? Touch of pink. It looks like it's perfume for women. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm just imagining a cute Thai girl wearing this scent. 
<laughs> <It's> just, <we're laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, this is probably where Mayu gets her shoes. She says it's really cheap. It's probably, oh yeah, definitely 100 baht. You can't beat $3, uh, even if you get... My partner buys shoes from here as well. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. 100 baht for that. It's not bad. Very good price. Yeah. Uh, if you need cheap shoes, over there. <laughs> <coughs> Look at all these people just stuck in traffic. Ho oh, ho. More shoes. Fruits. Gotta love it. Oh man, I bet you it's even more crowded as the night. Oh, night time, mate. Definitely. And you will get as well. Oh. Uh -huh. Justin is literally having to walk on the road. <laughs> There's not enough space for a big guy like him. <laughs> what is? I don't even know. I was walking by here and wondering what this is. This must be for hair <laughs> It's for salons, aren't they? Uh, we have the permanent, yeah? yeah, this is sort of a wholesale area, maybe. BNK48, Justin knows all about that. Oh. <laughs> Your favorite group after a prodigy. <laughs> it's prodigy and a BNK for Justin. <laughs> all right, Ooh, look at this. Gold chops. Soul bling bling. Has your have you ever bought gold for your girlfriend? I hear it's a, a very common thing. I have, not not here. Uh. Um, I think that was uh, uh, the other side of Bangkok. Can't remember the name of it now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, the gold here is fantastic. Well, I think it is. It's pretty practical because you're buying solid gold. Yeah. You know, you, you could always just sell it later on. Which is quite a common. It's thing quite practical. Thing. Yeah. I've heard though. You know how Thai gold looks very yellowish, yellow, like yeah. I heard that is the pure form of gold. Like most of the gold rings and stuff we see in the Western world, it's a it's a mixture of other metals, so it doesn't I mean Westerners think that yellow yellow look is, is relatively tacky. So they like the rose gold and other nice. kinds of mixtures. But these the gold out here is pure. So you definitely can get good money if you exchange it. This place here is a great place to chill out at the moment. Yeah. In the early hours. This guy, by the way, if you are coming here on a scooter, this is where we park. Because Mayu says this is the only place that you can find parking. Hello! <laughs> Ooh, do they have ice cream? Oh no, they're selling they're selling water for those of you who are exercising out here. Check it out. Have you ever ran here? Justin, you're not a runner, huh? As as he's smoking. <laughs> wow, Sun Tipap Park. Close at 9 p.m. And open at 5. It's a nice view. You, you see a view of uh, uh, Bai Oak Tower. That's what it is. It's nice. You get the, the monitor lizards in there as well. Oh, they got the monitor. Yeah. I don't know what it is with monitor lizards. and Because I heard, did you... Did you know that one of the swear words are, it's what you call monitor lizards? Really? Yeah, because I knew about this because when I'm teaching, I told the kids something like, here, do this here, or something. And then, depending on my accent, I could be saying like, here, here, what's over here, you know, or something like that. And it sounds like here, which is a swear word here. You know this? I didn't know that. No. You didn't know that, here. Yeah, Mayu says it all the time. Mayu, she swears I'm in Thai. I'm really jealous now. Look, I've got to do some running. <laughs> Justin, no jealousy, bro. That's enough for me. <laughs> oh, is that the lizards over there? But I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's any truth to this. My 
Thai viewers can confirm. But here is a, what you call a monitor lizard. And those things, you know, they got a ton of bacteria and stuff on their teeth. Yeah, so that, you, you, yeah, you don't want those. So if you see a here like cross your path, you're walking along and you see a monitor lizard, a Thai person would go, here, you know, that's a here. Ah. It's like something that is hindering your path. Yeah. So it soon became a swear word, here. But then somebody decided that it's actually pretty cute and cool to have a monitor lizard in parks and look at them. So they've now become uh, something of a cute thing to <laughs> a tourist I saw, attraction. I saw one there this morning. Yeah, yeah. It was only tiny, so. Huh. <clears throat> yep. Ah, <sighs> so we're now walking towards your home. Yeah. Um, I imagine the condos that are closer to the main road are more expensive. I wonder how much these are. These are probably like 9k, huh? I'm not sure, mate. Yeah, it's mine's halfway down the soil. Yeah. But I, I think um, it, it's better to be further away because it's quite loud. You definitely don't want to be in the, the center. Thing is, I, I, I come out of my apartment. Yeah. I put my hand out. I don't like taxi turns up. Uh, charges me 10 baht uh -huh. to the top of the soil. You know, in the daytime, you're going to have a ton of people take you there. I, I want to know something, though. What about at night? Like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., are the taxis willing to go to Victory Monument? For 24 hours. 24 hours, 24 there's a ton hours. of people. When we got up the other day, we got up You know what, that's true because a little bit to the right, another street over is Platinum, where it seems like there are people all throughout the night with street foods and such. It's a Siam area. This is a very convenient... You know, that's one of the things I don't like. When you're out, really late at night that's when you're tired and you want to go home after clubbing but the taxis keep passing you by because they don't want to go to wherever you are because you live in the boonies out in on or something and they don't want to drive there because they know they're not going to get a customer on the way back and that's going to take them further away from probably their home where they probably want to crash at night <clears throat> super convenient to live here Ooh. oh i love it i love it i love it Guys, this is authentic coconut ice cream. Talaina krab. Ah, ha, easy. Easy, easy. Ah, easy. And easy pa. And easy pa. Oh, okay. Ah, and this. This is easy. Song. Song. Ah, okay. I will come back for song. <laughs> Thank you. Only 20 baht for that ice cream. Oh, that is legit. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about it. Um, food's great. Uh huh. Beer's cheap, and it's live football. Oh, you know that's very important. Football. <laughs> How much is a beer? Uh, last time we, last time on the last trip. Uh. No, chip all that, sorry. I think it's about 90 baht for a beer. Oh, yeah? Hey, where, where are you going to be uh, this, I think it's Saturday or Sunday. You're going back yet, or? We're going up to Shai Poo. It's Children's Day on Saturday. So we're going to go up and see the, the partner's little one. Uh -huh. See the family. Uh -huh. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Back in Thailand, Sunday night. Darn it. Man, you's going to be playing Tottenham. Huge match. I was going to go watch it with you here after work. One of these days, though, I think I'll hit you up after work because I, I work right down the street. Yeah. Sometimes they don't make, let me do a right turn over there, so I got to do a U-turn at Victory Monument, so I got to come by this way anyways. Got pizza out there, they do delivery to our condo. You know what? There was the, <laughs> one of my first street walk videos, I said, uh, no, it wasn't my first one. It was Rama 9, so it was just last week. I said, this is the only Pizza Hut I know of in Bangkok. I, I say that. And then yesterday, I'm in Tong Lor, and I see another Pizza Hut. And today, I see another Pizza I've seen three Pizza Huts. So my viewers are going, Ethan's full of crap, you know? <laughs> pizza Hut everywhere. It looks relatively new, though. Uh, <laughs> you're not really helping me out here, buddy. 
I can't lie, mate. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Where are we supposed to go? Across this way, right? Yep. No, there are no street lights, just... It's like the walk of faith. Like, people will just sort of avoid you. Just don't, you know, suddenly jerk and stop. Or like, walk really fast. That's gonna get you in accidents and cause accidents. Nice. What is this? A slice for 99 baht, I, I'm assuming. A whole pizza for 200 baht. All right, guys, sorry about it. The battery finally died. I was sort of expecting it to happen as that was quite a long walk. Uh, we were just talking about pizza, and Justin was telling me that it's tough to get a barbecue base out here. You can't explain to the locals to get barbecue base. Impossible, mate. Impossible. I've tried. <laughs> Every time, I've tried. Do they Actually, even have it? I don't even think that's an option. I'm sure they would put it on. It's just... It's understanding. It's just, they, don't, they just don't get it. No, I don't even think that's an option out here, maybe. Possibly not, then. Just like... Okay, KFC is in America. I asked for honey, and they give you this... They don't really give you real honey because that's probably expensive. So they give the get the sugary syrup kind of thing, uh, okay. which is the way I like to have chicken. Which I'm not sure if everybody has it that way, but that's when I was in the military. That that's how my uh, brothers would have it, you know. Uh, so that's where I learned it, and I'm like, oh, I like fried chicken with honey, spicy fried chicken. I I, I come out here, I say honey, they don't they don't have it, and I'm like, M maybe they just don't understand me, and then I try to. I mean, honey exists out here. Actually, Thai honey is really good. I, I, that's one of the souvenirs I buy for people. So, I asked one of my, you know, friends to say in Thai, he wants honey. And first of all, she refused. She's like, I don't know. I don't, they don't have it. I'm like, just ask, please. And uh, <laughs> it's like, not a lot of people know. If you ask, you might. So, she asked, and uh, they just don't offer it. They don't have it. It's not a thing out here. You know? So, <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure if if I need to introduce that taste to a Thai. I mean, Thais would love it. What Thai doesn't like something sweet, you know? Sweet and spicy and every Thai would be on board. Nice. We're getting to a super local area. By the way guys, walk further down this way and you'll end up at Rama 9. So that's uh, another reference of point. Me and Mai, we just drove down this road. It took us a long time though because the traffic is just ridiculous. And it's one of the more dangerous roads to go on. Because although there's a lot of traffic, as you can see the, the flow is relatively fast enough where you could get in an accident so it's not a street I, I personally like to drive if I had to. Maya drives it on a weekly basis by herself but she's a lot more fearless than I am. So I, I generally like to drive through very trafficked areas like Sukhumvit etc where the traffic is literally just sitting there. You know, it's, even if you get in an accident, it's because you run into a parked car. So that's, that's how I manage my wrists. Do, I, do we have to cross over? No, no, no. No? No. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, printing shops. Yep. So Justin tells me there's a, a tucked away night market that I'm trying to learn from him because even though I drove by here, I didn't notice it. Ooh, look at all this. The vegetables here. Yeah, you can turn right, just up here. Huh? See all the food. Oh. Whoa, look. Guys, I don't know if you're aware, but Thailand actually does have penthouse and Playboy Thai version. It's just there's no nudity. <laughs> but the models look really cute. I actually this would be the day. This would be the month I would get it because usually during these months they have the calendars. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, when Mayu and me first met, I had a calendar displayed prominently. <laughs> she didn't really like it, so <laughs> I didn't renew uh, my yearly Thai Playboy or penthouse purchases. Oh my yeah, gosh. Super this local. Now this is an authentic street food vendor. None of that touristy stuff out in Rachata and whatever else other people are claiming is authentic. This is authentic stuff. This is where I first tried chicken feet. Chicken feet? You yeah. Did you like it? Uh, uh. It's different, it's different, but... It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna. I mean, chicken feet is big in Korea too. My my parents love it. They would eat it all the time. But I'm still not one that's too keen for it. The women will eat it though, even if it tastes nasty, because it has a ton of collagen. So they're eating it for beauty purposes. Look, like barbershop. Why don't you get it from here? 120 baht, man. So uh, Justin's complaining they, they raised it too high up there. You can see they, they do this though. When you get a haircut in Thailand, they 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 cut it back. So it looks like you got a receding hairline. But That's they like the angular look. But it, it's it's smooth, you know? It's definitely smooth. They yeah. They shave it for you and such. I think what, forty five minutes? Yeah. Forty five minutes? That's quite long. Well, I'm, Oh. When I'm in the UK, 10 minutes is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a similar experience with me. And for me, I, I actually have a receding hairline. So then, uh, I hated that. But you know what? For a cheap price like that, I'm not going to complain. I'm not out here to try to look good for you guys or anything. You know? <laughs> so uh, I'll just try to point the camera away from me as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it, it helped because you know how if you start shaving that area, like the hair grows back thicker. That's that's what I noticed. I think yeah. it's it's coming back thicker, yeah. Yeah, so at first I didn't like it, but much like everything in Thailand, just don't question it, accept it. My pen rye about it. <laughs> and then and uh, you might find out there's a method to this madness. I could have been blowing a fuse going, why'd you expose my receding hairline even more? Just stressing out and losing even more hair. But I just keep letting them cut it, shave it, whatever. Smile about it, not stress out. It just grows back thicker and bigger and stronger. All right, jeez. Ooh, look at these donuts. Donuts? Donuts. Oh my god, yeah, it really opens up here. Oh wow, look at this. Justin, I'm in love with this place. I'm gonna come out here more often to meet you. Oh my god, look at this. 30 baht for these. Like a whole bag of these tangerines, 30 baht. I love it, get my vitamin C's. Oh, how much are bananas? Bananas are so expensive for some reason. Talaina krab? Jetsip ha. Jetsip. Oh, with that. Nung song sam si ha ho jet. Chills. Oh, 70 for that. That's good. I. When you get the dull ones and the, the other ones at uh, Tops, it's, it's the same price as America. We're, we're gonna pay 15 baht just for one, if you're lucky. I think now they're charging about 20 or 30. Really good documentaries about how uh, the banana industry is monopolizing everything, by the way, guys. That's why, even though I feel like bananas probably grow everywhere in Thailand, I don't know why it's so expensive in the markets. Look at that. 10 baht for that small bunch of bananas. That's how it should be. Yeah, this, this, is, this is how local, this is local. This is local. You're gonna, you're gonna be hard. Have you been to like the provincial areas like Udon Thani, Isan, and such like that? Isan? Yeah. Uh, Chai Ping. 
Oh, yeah? Visit quite a lot. I mean, my experience going there, although it's, it is up in the provinces, it ain't that much cheaper, you know? Oh, yes, more ice cream. Ooh, Thalaina Cup? Yeah. How much? Thalaina Cup? 70 baht. 20 baht. 20 baht. Oh, okay. Same, 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 same. Good. I love it. Thank you. Um, one of the students we teach, not me, but in our school, their, their family owns that ice cream vendor. The one that the, all the street markets use. I like that. Yeah, so during Christmas and stuff, they'll bring in a whole tub of those and then we'll have Christmas party ice cream. I love it. It's so soft and creamy, the Thai ones. But you can't find it in the market. I wish we could buy it in the market. But are we walking to your house, by the way? No, no, my, my place is down there. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, to show you. we'll head back. But oh my gosh, this is a really scenic area. You got this alleyway and right in spot center of it, you got Bayou Tower, which my understanding is used to be the tallest tower in Bangkok. And now it's just a sort of a tourist, touristy area. Actually, the first time I ever came to Bangkok, when my aunt was here, that's where she took us, to this buffet up top. Yeah, but I think since then the price has gone up even more and it wasn't even that cheap or the food wasn't even that great. This is not a place I'm dying to vlog about. I mean, if Biok invites me and I'm, is, I can eat there for free, I'll do it and give you my honest feedback, see if anything's changed, but I'm not going to spend my own money to go there, you know? <laughs> uh, I wonder if my channel will ever get big enough where I get invited for stuff. Oh, look at that. It's shattered. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, more street vendors down here. I, it's hidden in every little nook and cranny. I will say that in the mornings, it's more busier. Oh, yeah? I wonder how much these... Uh, luxury condos are like that one KPN have you ever shopped around for them I mean tens would still be reasonable in my opinion yeah. I mean for where I work because I work near Siam oh I like this I like uh, I like how they have the colorful buildings over there this little alleyway it's nice yeah, but it'd be convenient for me. Just take the motorcycle straight down. 10 minutes I'd be in Siam, living in a super local area, come out for a walk every night. Just experience all this localness. Nice. Oh man, I, I feel like Mayu probably messaged me, but I didn't look. <laughs> Oh, more, more street vendors this way. This, this is nice. This is definitely the heart of Bangkok. The local heart of Bangkok. Alright guys, so I think we're gonna pretty much wrap it up here. There's not much else down there, right? There's, there's nothing else down it's there. It's just pretty much residential. And um, yeah, whatever the case, I hope you enjoyed this walk. I know this is gonna be one of the longer walks, but it is an area that I particularly like. Oh, what's going on here? There's tons of people waiting. Oh, that's Som Tam. And, uh, hope you enjoy these long, lengthier walks and it's informative. And again, shout out to Justin for showing me around his neighborhood. No problem, we finally got around here. Yeah, introducing me around this awesome area. And uh, although I will be shooting the street walking section after this, you guys let me know in the comments if you like this video. Too long, too short. You want more information, more information about Justin, don't ask me that. Just go on his channel. And I'll see you next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Alright, let's go in. More for about five minutes. So Justin's showing me the aftermath of the accident and it's always that douchebag black like helix like the newer trucks that always drive so aggressively I swear. But we're just enjoying the air conditioning here. 
uh, super local, and I'm not even angry about. I'm not even mad, as they say. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said I want some ESC cola. They gave me some soda. I said I didn't order this. They don't really take it back. They just give me another ESC cola. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we just make do with it, and we're like, we're drinking this EST cola and it's too sweet. So we're like, hey, let's mix the soda in it, and now it's a good soda. That's good. You know? Uh, I said I want some cashew fried rice, and I don't know what this is. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I said, give me some cashew fried rice, and they give me... There's cashews in it, at least. I guess I could be. But it looked delicious. Um, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not even mad. My Ben Rye, my Ben Rye. <laughs> Alright, they give us uh, some complimentary tea in the end. Uh, this English man can appreciate some tea. And uh, the food is very delicious. I just ordered another side of rice, which is 15 baht. Hey, steam rice? With some stir fry is all good, and it all comes out to be 248 baht. Wow, that's uh, six, seven bucks. Okay, my buddy Justin's going back to his missus. Bye bye. <laughs> now I'm gonna go shoot my street walk. <laughs>